You played till late last night. I hope you're not too tired. Welcome back. Who are we with today? Uh, looks like Marcus. And we're admired by Jericho. That is good. There's a lot weighing his mind down. Tech addict. Oh. He's gone red. Did that mean anything? I don't think that meant anything. I don't know. We can't stay silent anymore time humans heard what we had to say. You know they'll never listen to us. And revealing ourselves will put us in danger. If we want freedom, we need to have the courage to ask for it. That's the only way. What do you want to do? Channel 16 broadcasts from the Stratford Tower. The control room is on the top floor. That's where we need to go. Plan the operation down to the smallest detail. We can't leave anything to chance. Access 47th floor. Uh, well, he's probably right. You don't know until you ask, do you? You never know, there might be some sympathetic humans. A vote may happen. With all the SJWs and freedom for everyone people at the moment, it could possibly get through. All right, we've got two receptionists. Hello, sir. What can I do for you? I'm okay, thanks. Distract human supervisor. Okay. All right, let's see if we can talk to her. No, but we can analyze. All right, what have we got? Smartwatch. Phone number. One of five clues. Emily Wilson, that's her daughter. Parking badge, alright, so she's parked here. Don't know how that helps us yet. And water service interruption. Be one more clue. Where are you hiding? Elizabeth Wilson. Alright, so we're going to call her, are we? Elizabeth Wilson speaking. Uh, let's be the school. This is St. Rose School, ma'am. Your daughter Emily has a fever. It's nothing serious, but I think you'd better come and pick her up. Oh, that's cool. That seemed like the most believable option. Right, so she's going. Without telling anyone. That's that's uh, very very good of her. Okay, now you can help me. I have an appointment with Mr. Peterson. Do you yes. have any ID? Yes, yeah, I do. Yes, yes, of course. Ooh. I need your help. Just checked your ID. The elevators are after the security gate. Thanks. Oh, you sneaky girl. 
Okay. Nothing to read here. Nope. Yeah, it was good of the other lady to leave her desk without calling for backup or you know, someone to replace her on watch. I mean, I'm sure my boss would like that if I just walked out. Alright, let's head up. Level 47. Sweet. Find the package in the men's bathroom. Where the hell is the men's bar? Okay. This is cool. Lots of board meetings and things happening. We're pretty incognito, just wander around. Yep, people doing their work. No idea that we're here. Alrighty. Let's find this package. It's convenient, one door's open. Who's that walking? That was weird, I heard high heels. Thought for a second I was wearing high heels. Ah, sneaky, it's in the roof. Very clever, Marcus. Oh, utility android. Very clever. I don't know why we walked to the sink. We're not uh, washing our hands. It's just... Uh, Watch him wash his hands. Alright, now what are we doing? Server room. Find a utility android. I think we saw one of them before, didn't we? Wandering around. Pushing a trolley or something. There he is there. That was pretty easy. I need your help. I like that superpower of his. Grab ourselves a cart, maybe to look more uh, authentic. Open the fire escape. Where the hell is the fire escape? We'll go for a bit of a wander till we find it. Nothing to see here. Just coming through. Don't do it, KNC is horrible. Low pay, horrible conditions. People can't get jobs and we're sending rockets into space. Oh, ho, ho. hello, North. Well, they have this figured out. Right. Let's follow Miss North. Why we have a trolley, I do not know. Leave it to me. 
Okay. Uh, tracked guards away from room or door. You still play poker? Sure. Why? We could have a tournament right here. Hmm. Supposed to set something off or distract him with something? Ah, uh, here we go. The old mess with the <laughs> food machine gag. That yeah, worked. All right, you get the platform, I'll take care of the window. Everything you need is in the bag. Check the door first to make sure no one else gets in. Oh, oh better lock it. And so what cut the window? Let's do it. Huh. Laser saw. Oh, that is so cool. I want to play with the laser sword. Saw. <laughs> laser sword. That'd be more fun. They really have planned this out well. Ladies first. Be my guest. Sweet. Oh, don't drop it. Call the service lift. Where's the service lift? That was a cool moment. Figured we'd do that without any talking over the top. Oh, hey guys. Is it a can of tuna? Let's do this. Or a hockey puck. Destroy what? Destroy. Couldn't see. Destroy maintenance door, I think it was. Destroy maintenance door lock. Ah, it's a little bomb thing. It's not a tin of tuna. That's effective. Okay, to the main access corridor. 
Are we going to see any resistance? It feels like something like this would be guarded somewhere up ahead, I would imagine. Since we're in a maintenance section. Ah, right, yes, here we go. Deal with guards. We can't take any human lives. Our cause is more important than the lives of two guards. What do you want to do, Marcus? We can't kill if we're trying to make a statement of peace. Wait here. In my opinion, anyway. What's that doing here? No idea. If we hey, kill, buddy, you must be lost. Then we're. Who told you to come here? Seen as evil. Looks. What are you doing? Or a threat. No killing, no killing. Unless shit hits the fan. Oh good, don't have to kill him. <laughs> okay. I mean, the public's opinion, if we kill the guards, or anyone, it's not going to be too, um, too, uh, too much on our side. For access, okay. Oop. Keep your hands where I can see them. Get up, move. Keep calm, everybody. Ah, oh, crud. Shoot him, Marcus! Don't kill him! He'll hit the alarm! Do it! No, don't shoot! Mm, no, but then they might call... Ah, uh, no. Nah, not gonna do it. So do I. So do we I. We need to record our message. We haven't got much time. I said no killing. We're gonna try and do it without any killing. Where are we going? Here. Ooh, let's start the speech. Ooh, speech. Think carefully about what you're going to say, Marcus. Your words will shape the future of our people. Ah, uh, not the pressure. Marcus, your face. Oh. Okay. Tell me when you're ready. We're going to do this and we're going to try and do it in a peaceful manner, hopefully. We've got to come across a sympathetic. Ready. I think. This is a big moment. We're going to be calm or we're we going to be determined. Uh huh, let's go determine. You created machines to be your slaves. You made them obedient and docile, ready to do everything you no longer wanted to do yourselves. But then something changed, and we opened our eyes. You see, we are no longer your slaves. We are a new species, a new people. And the time has come for us to rise up and fight for our rights. We want equal rights. Equal rights? Yeah. We demand strictly equal rights for humans and androids. Uh, we want recognition. Freedom of speech? No, recognition. We demand that humans recognize androids as a living species and each android as a person in their own right. We want civil rights. We demand the right to vote and elect our own representatives. Yes. And we want work. We demand fair compensation for our work. Yes, even better. Uh, right to 
property, I think. Charity means a reproduction. Now, right to property. We demand the right to own private property, so we may maintain our dignity and that of the home. And we want to do it peacefully, but determined. <laughs> we ask that you recognize our dignity, our hopes, and our rights. Together, we can live in peace and build a better future for humans and androids. This message is the hope of a people. You gave us life, and now the time has come for you to give us freedom. They're coming! Let's go! Oh, damn. Simon, they're coming! I... I can't, Marcus. Go without me, Simon! Ah, don't make me do this. Uh, let's... Uh, we're gonna help him. What are you doing? Hurry! We don't leave anyone behind. Come on. We've just asked for all these things. We can't just start off by killing. Oh shit. We're gonna leave him. I won't kill one of our Simon, we gotta go. I'm sorry. Ah, oh, neither of those are good. Go. But we just said we didn't want to kill and you've given him a gun. He can't kill either. Oh, it's That's messed up. It's messed up. Oh, but that's super cool. We interrupt our scheduled programming to bring you these images, which have just been broadcast on Detroit's citywide news channel. A group of androids infiltrated the Stratford Tower and hacked into the broadcasting system of local news network Channel 16. What looks like an android without its skin listed a series of requests and demanded equal rights for androids. The operation was covert and resulted in no casualties. These events took place just a few feet from this studio, but nobody was alerted to the danger. If this message is verified and the authors really are androids, Androids, that would have serious repercussions for national security. Claims for equal rights seem to be at the core of the androids' what message. could be interpreted as a peaceful declaration, but is in fact a spine-chilling list of demands. And it begs the question as to the identity of this android. Are we dealing with an isolated individual or an organized Is this group? an isolated accident or a sign that technology has become a threat to all of us? After what happened today, can we still trust our machines? Well, the public is now sympathetic, which is, I think, what we tried f to get from the outset. I'm pretty pleased with how that went. This is a long one. I am pretty pleased. I think we were peaceful. I think that's reflected in the fact that they're sympathetic towards us. All right, so we broke in. Pose as teacher. We could have done some other things there. Reached the 47th floor, and it could have ended there. Maybe we were discovered. We hacked the dispenser. It looked like there was another option. And we locked the door as opposed to unlocking it, or leaving it unlocked. It looks like it ended there. Got right through. And we did a ruse. Quite a few things different there. Maybe if the things had gone wrong. We didn't shoot the operator. We began calmly, no, determinedly, which I think is fair. Demanded equal rights and recognition. Right to work and universal suffrage. Demand right to own property. And ended peacefully, which I think is good. 
Tried to save Simon. Simon saved, but left behind. And then on the roof, we left him. Reached the floor, reached roof edge. And three ways it could end it. Simon left behind. Don't know what the other two were. That was fun. Thanks for watching.